Hi, welcome back to day four of the Active Breathwork Challenge for Yoga Renewal. I'm Katie. If you stumbled upon this video and you haven't already done one of the previous days of the challenge, or more importantly, watch the introduction to active breathwork video, I would really recommend going back and just watching that intro video. We dive deeper into this style of breathwork, what it can do to the body, what happens when we activate the body in this way, the breath and our emotions. Today, we won't be spending as much time talking about the breathwork practice as doing it. Uh, so if you have a few moments, definitely go back and check out that video. A reminder, this is a three-part active breath helped to release stuck energy in the body, such as stress, tension, trauma. It can allow blocks to clear and oftentimes facilitates a cathartic emotional release, oftentimes activates the physical body. I'll quickly review the breath before we get into our practice for today. This will be a little bit longer of a practice and we'll be really focusing on activating our joy and leaning into that sound towards the end of the practice as well. So I'll quickly review the breath. We only breathe through the mouth and that's in a concentration to move the breath away from the brain and into the body. So breathing into the belly, into the chest, out through the mouth, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale. A quick reminder, we'll be doing that breath on repeat. We will make space for some sound, a little bit of movement if you feel called to do that, but really all you're doing is focusing on that three-part breath. I'll start breathing with you and I'll breathe through with you for about the first minute or two. I'll pop in and out to breathe as well throughout the duration of our practice. But really, I will be holding the space, sharing mantras, supporting you through. So all you need to do for the next 20 minutes or so is really focus on that breath once we get started. Normally, this work is done best flat on your back. So if you can lie down in a private space or a place where you have some privacy, flat on the back is best just to keep the breath passageways as open as possible. If you have back pain or physical pain, of course, do whatever you need to feel comfortable. Prop yourself up on a pillow, a bolster, put a bolster under your knees. Your safety and comfortability is the top priority. So setting yourself up however you need. It's also nice to do this work to music. You'll be hearing my voice a lot, holding the space, guiding you through. But if you want to listen to the playlist I provided below or turn on your own music, that's great too. It's just an extra support and help for release catharsis and to make more space for you. So I'll give you a few moments here to get set up. All you're doing right now is setting yourself up in a way that will feel best and right for you to participate in this active breathwork practice for the next 15 to 20 minutes. So just getting comfortable in your space, lying down. Sometimes temperatures can fluctuate, so it's nice to start with a blanket on so you don't have to worry about putting it on halfway through the practice. And I always like to do this work eyes closed, as you can probably already see, but if it feels best to you to keep your eyes gently open with a soft gaze, doing whatever feels best and right for you. I'm assisting you and guiding you through, but really this is your practice. So taking ownership of doing exactly what you need when you need it. And as you come into your space for this practice here, Maybe this is the first chance you've had today to be with your energy, to be in your body. So allowing yourself to really sink in wherever you are, lying down on your bed, your couch, a yoga mat on the floor, breathing as you normally would right now. We're not in that active breath work space yet. So maybe it feels best to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth in through your nose, out through your nose, whatever your normal breathing pattern is. Just allowing yourself to drop down into your body, to drop down into your heart space, to feel into your energy. Maybe there's something in particular you wanna work with today, something you're looking to let go of or call in. You can go ahead and invite that into your space now into this space we're sharing together. Even through the ethers, 
we are connected. I'm holding space for you. I'm supporting you. You're doing that for yourself too, most importantly. Still just connecting to your normal breathing pattern. This work is really about getting out of the head and the ego and tapping into the body intelligence, tapping into the tension, the stress, the trauma that we hold on to in our physical body. Even though we think about those things and we remember them, and maybe we think they live in the brain as our memories, but the physical sensation of them live deeply in the body. We hold on to them in the physical body, in the emotional body. So this work is a chance to really move those things up and out with breath, with a little bit of sound, just making more space for you. And the more grounded you are in your own energy, the easier and more freeing this work can be. So taking a few more moments here to really ground in your body if you can, ground in your energy, whatever that means to you. Maybe feeling the weight of your body being supported by the bed, the couch, your yoga mat. And you can go ahead and set a personal intention for this practice today. It could be as simple as presence or release or something a bit more personal to whatever is going on with you. And I'm going to go ahead and set a collective intention for all of us here today, anyone tuning in, that this can be a deeply profound and gentle experience for us all, setting intentions for deep self-trust, safety, inner knowing, allowing our work here today or whenever you're doing this practice to be as big, messy, cathartic, joyful, freeing, expansive as it can be from moment to moment. Calling in self-love and radical self-acceptance. We're gonna get started in a few moments here, breathing together, but if it helps to start with a hand on the belly, a hand on the chest, especially if this is the first time you're doing this sort of breath work, this active breath work practice, can help anchor you in. So we're gonna start together. Only breathing through the mouth, taking a breath into the belly, into the chest, out through the mouth, belly, chest, exhale, 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 Go ahead and keep on breathing, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale. I've let that breath go just so I can guide us through, hold a little bit of space, share some mantras, but all you need to do is focus on that breath. That three-part breath, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale. I'll be popping in and out of the active breath, but all you need to do is focus on that work, that breath work that three-part breath, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale. Really allowing these first few moments here to drop in, 
to sink into the practice. That pace that we set together is a great one to keep, but if you need to slow it down a bit, you do just that. The mind may start to wander, activate, and that's okay, that's part of this work. Resistance of the ego is very common, quote unquote normal. Likes to keep us safe, responsible. Maybe there's feelings and sensations coming up that we usually shy away from, that we keep hidden, that we don't like to indulge. But this practice is about allowing ourselves to feel it, to feel the emotions that come up, to feel the physical sensations, and really move them up and out with breath and sound. Keep on focusing on that breath, belly, chest, exhale. <gasps> And you might feel tempted to let go of the active breath when I come in with mantras or guiding you through with words. And I would invite you to meet that resistance and just keep focusing on the breath. The breath is the medicine. The breath is the practice that takes us through, that makes the space, that ushers us into the place where we wanna be physically, emotionally, more connected to ourselves. Belly, chest, exhale. And after a few minutes of that active breath, you might already be feeling physically activated, emotionally, physically. You might be feeling tingling, numbness, vibration, sensation. All of it is common, again, normal. But just allowing yourself to be in the energy, to trust that whatever emotions are coming up, fear, anxiety, grief, frustration, things that you thought you already worked through, things that you don't normally allow yourself to feel, they're coming up because you're ready to let some of them or all of them go. Belly, chest, exhale. Not forcing or pushing any emotions. Just letting yourself really be with the breath, this active practice, allow it to activate you emotionally and physically. In addition to any emotions that may be coming up, you may really be feeling a lot of physical sensations now that you're on day four, or even if this is the first time you're doing this work. You might be feeling tingling, numbness, vibration, tension. <sighs> Allowing yourself to be with whatever is coming up physically. I carry a lot of grief in my heart space, in my heart chakra, in my body. So a big common physical sensation for me is tension in the hands, tension in the mouth, especially the hands, it's called tetany. It's the heart activating and manifesting through the arms and the hands. So if you're experiencing that, you're okay. You're exactly where you need to be. Some mantras that you can share at any point with yourself, you could say it out loud in your space or dropping into your heart space in your body. <gasps> I am safe in my body. I am safe in my body. And as you breathe, just inviting that mantra into your space, inviting that mantra into your body. I am safe in my body. It's not going to kill me to feel any of this. Sometimes we need that reminder, especially if we suffer from intense fear, anxiety. It's not going to kill me to feel this. I can meet myself at my edge or my preconceived window of tolerance, the space where we feel most comfortable. I can meet myself there and maybe go a step past it. We're gonna get ready to release some sound together. So if you've strayed away from the, the breath or had trouble dropping in, just Placing a hand on your heart, on your belly, allowing yourself to drop in, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale, trusting that you can handle it. Trusting that whatever's coming up is coming up because you're ready to let some of it or all of it go. Belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale. One of the biggest lies we're told in our society or family structure, or one of the biggest lies that we are made to believe is that we are not capable of handing, handling 
our emotions, our feelings, our sensations, that we need to turn them off or quiet them. And this space is all about allowing yourself to really feel and be in them so you can get comfortable feeling them, so you can truly move it up and out through breath and sound, feeling it to heal it, feeling it to develop a deeper sense of trust and safety in our own bodies, belly, chest, exhale. We're gonna release some sound. That sound might look like a big sigh, a scream into a pillow if you're giving yourself enough permission to do that, which I hope you are. Some sound into your hands if that feels most comfortable for you. I want you to make whatever sound takes you out of the head and deeper into the body. On the count of three, we're gonna do that together. I'm gonna to make some sound into my hands. This round will be a little bit short in today's practice, but really letting yourself make some sound so you can move through some of that physical and emotional sensation. One, two, three. <sighs> Shaking your hands, your body. <sighs> Sticking your tongue out if that feels good. <sighs> fluttering the lips. These are just my suggestions. You have full permission. You don't need my permission, but you have my permission and support to do whatever feels best and right for you. Whatever sound creates a sensation of release, creates more space for you. Really leaning into whatever that is. <sighs> And in the next breath or two, we're gonna come back to that active breath. When you're ready, into the belly, into the chest, out through the mouth, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale. And as you breathe here, focusing on that breath, seeing if you can breathe 10% deeper into the belly, 10% deeper into the chest, out through the mouth, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale, and just focusing on that breath. That's all you need to do. I'm holding the space, supporting you, doing this work alongside of you, being a witness to all the emotion, vibration, sensation that you're moving through. We're gonna breathe for about two more minutes here before we invite in some sound. Today, we're really going to lean into that laugh that we're gonna to create together. That's the next sound. And if you're in your emotions and moving through some fear or sadness, you may not feel like creating that sound at all and that's okay. But I really feel like this practice is part permission to feel whatever you need to feel, especially the things that you believe are too much, that you don't allow yourself to always feel and move through and part empowering to show you just how capable you are of handling it all. That you don't need anyone else but you. Your trust, your renewed or re-imagined sense of safety that you can experience in your body just with the power of your own breath and permission. And really trusting that you can create all the joy and love and freedom that you so inherently deserve. Focusing on that breath, always coming back to it. If you straight away, just gently bring yourself back. Belly, chest, exhale. Belly, chest, exhale. Any fear or anxiety that's been coming up, reminding yourself that you're over-oxygenating your system, that you have enough breath, that you are capable of handling this. Belly, chest, exhale. <gasps> And in the next few moments here, we're gonna create some space for some intentional joy, a laugh. And again, like I just said, you might not be feeling that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna invite a gentle smile to the face, even if you need to plaster it on. Keep on breathing, belly, chest, exhale. See, feel what that smile feels like, what it's doing to your system, where the resistance is coming up, where you're able to lean into it. This practice, again, is about connecting to yourself emotionally, physically. And what I really love is it allows me to get a little wild with myself. 
I know joy may not feel wild, but if you really allow yourself to lean into it, really allow yourself to lean into this laugh as you breathe, belly, chest, exhale, as you keep that breathing pattern going, belly, chest, exhale. In a few moments here, the space that we're gonna create for some joy. Let yourself get silly and free. How often do you allow yourself to get silly? How often do you allow yourself to really stretch out a laugh and lean into the joy? I know some of the grief and sadness and anger can feel a little bit more natural to me. Maybe joy is what you struggle with. Maybe joy is where you feel you're most free. So in these next few moments here, we're gonna create some space for a big laugh, a few more breaths from you, belly, chest, exhale. Belly, chest, exhale. And on the count of three, we're gonna create a big laugh together. It may feel fake and forced at first, but I really encourage you to lean into it using the power of that physical vibration that's coming up, the sensation, leaning into it with the laugh and seeing where you can create more space for you in your body. <gasps> On the count of three, we're gonna do it together. One, two, three. <laughs> it may feel good to let out a woo woo or a hell yes, whatever it is. Woo! Woo hoo! Yeah! Just being in your body is shaking it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid to let that giggle go on, even if it feels like it's too long. How often do you get to be in your joy, in your full expansion of your energy and your vibration? And if nothing else, you can just laugh at how silly it is that we need to set aside some time in our day to let ourselves really feel and how we hold ourselves back from being in the power of our own energy. And we're gonna let that breath go. And just for two more minutes, that laughter go. We're gonna come back to that active breath. So as soon as you can, as much as you can, just letting that laughter dissipate, that, that little bit of sound dissipate and coming back to that breath. Belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale. And again, as you breathe here, after that release of some sound, that creation of intentional joy in your body, seeing where you can breathe a little bit deeper, feeling where you can breathe a little bit deeper, not jumping up into the ego and the brain if you can help it, but dropping down deeper into the breath. And that tension, that stress, bubbling up, moving it out with the breath, allowing yourself to feel where you can breathe a little bit deeper just for two more minutes here. And that physical sensation might be feeling really intense. The emotion might be coming up, but trusting that you can handle it, trusting that you will not always feel this way, that you are allowed to be in all the ways you need without shame or embarrassment, that is not going to kill you to feel this. As you breathe, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale. All you need to do, focusing on that breath for another minute here, trusting that what you are doing is creating space in your body, in your energy to make more space for you. <sighs> your connection to yourself, your higher self, source, the universe, whomever, whatever you believe in, trusting that you deserve to make space, to release, to let go of the ideas, the limiting beliefs, whatever holds you back from really being in your own energy. About 30 more seconds of that active breath work here. Belly, chest, exhale. A few more moments just to see what else you can move, to see how else you can be with you. space for whatever comes up in these final few moments here. It may feel good to move your body, release some sound, and as you do that, as you take your last few active breaths here, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale, belly, chest, exhale, finally letting that breath dissipate, letting it go, releasing it. 
Returning to a normal breathing pattern in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through the nose, out through the nose. It may feel good to take a few deep inhales and exhales. If you're feeling really activated in the body, using those deep inhales and exhales to slow your breath down, slow the energy down. I'm holding space for you through letting the emotion go, the activation go. Just allowing yourself to really be in that energy, seeing if you can really stick with it. Trying your best, as best as you can, to not jump into that ego, that overactive mind, that judgment zone that can also sometimes live in our brain. And just continuing to be in the body for a few more moments here. And trusting that whatever vibration, sensation, emotion, tension in the hands, the mouth, tingling, trusting that it will dissipate, that it will not always be in your energy now. And trusting that it is a representation of all of the space that you just made for you by intentionally connecting to your breath, by dropping out of the ego, the thinking mind, dropping into the body intelligence, the feeling body, connecting more deeply to you, creating more space for your connection to yourself, your higher self, source, God, the universe, whomever, whatever you believe in, there's space for it all here. And I'm encouraging you to take as much time as you can in this space for the sake of our video and our time here today. We're going to get started to wrap up, but if you have five more minutes, 10 more minutes just to be in your own energy with that playlist, remembering the mantras I shared, hearing my voice, you are safe in your body. You are allowed to be in all the ways you need. You can handle it. Nobody knows what you need better than you. There is no such thing as you being too much, too sensitive. There is space for it all. You can handle it. Taking a few more deep breaths into the nose, out through the mouth if you need. And as you start to invite yourself back into the space, it might feel good to get your feet flat on the floor, so knees bent, feet on the bed, the couch, your yoga mat, wherever you are. Wiggling your fingers and toes, inviting yourself slowly back into the space. As you do that, I'm just gonna share some reminders of what can be helpful after this practice, whether you realize it or not, even doing this through the ethers virtually you moved a lot of energy just by committing to yourself in this time and space today. So drinking lots of water, journaling if you have time, eating a nourishing meal, whatever you need to do to really bring yourself back into your own energy, into your own space, continuing to process and be with you. close us out here for today, but one of my favorite Pema Chodron quotes, you are the sky, everything else is just weather. So remembering your sovereignty, your strength, and that you deserve all of the love, joy, freedom that you so inherently deserve. We'll be back again tomorrow for our final day of the challenge, a bit longer of a practice. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so honored to share this space with you and thank you for trusting me to guide you through. Please let us know if you have any questions and I hope to see you soon.